Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to put together professional looking dessert shooters. And today we are making strawberry cheesecake dessert shooters. Now these are good for any parties. Y'all know Super Bowl is coming up. This is good for any sweets table, any type of function because it's small and it's just enough um, where people can enjoy without overindulging. This is a quick and simple, very beginner family um, recipe. So please follow along and enjoy y'all. Look how good these look. And it's so, so simple. Um, you only need a few ingredients. And because of a shortage, we had to kind of take a shortcut today and we'll get into that a little bit later. But look at the glaze on the strawberries. Like this will literally drive any of your guest attendees um, crazy. Let's get into it. So. Because there is a cheesecake, uh, not cheesecake, a cream cheese shortage, um, we had to do the no bake cheesecake jello style, but we're gonna use what we got to get what we want like we always do. So, in a small bowl, I am going to add the filling mix and you want to follow the directions on the box, okay? Do not add or, you know, substitute anything. Do exactly what it says. So add the filling mix to your bowl. You're gonna add in two cups of whole milk and it has to be cold. And then you can either whisk, um, which I don't recommend, or use a hand mixer to go ahead and you want to blend this up for three minutes. And as you can see, the longer you do it, the thicker that it gets. That's it for our cheesecake portion. And it's starting to thicken up. Put this to the side until we are done um, with our graham cracker mix and putting that in our dessert shooters. So in a small bowl, we're gonna add the crust mix into the small bowl. And then you are going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And you wanna go ahead and get that nice and incorporated. Just a quick mix before adding in our butter. So once you've mixed that around, you're gonna add in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then you want to get this well incorporated. So the texture um, that you guys are aiming for is gonna be like wet sand. So you wanna make sure that you kinda, you know, muscle this around and make sure that the butter, you know, gets well incorporated with all of the graham cracker twists because the last thing you want is to have regular graham cracker twists and then having some that is just like dust. So you don't want people biting into that. Make sure it's incorporated well. So these are the desolt dessert shooter cups that I'm using today. They are three ounces and they have like a little slight edge to them. I found them at my local cake supply store. You can order these on Amazon. You can get them from, I believe Michael's or Joann's has them. You can pretty much find these anywhere, okay? Amazon would probably be your go-to if you don't have any of these places um, local and in your area. So just find them as best as you can. So the very first thing that we're gonna do to our dessert shooters is go ahead and add in our graham cracker. Now, you want to make sure, especially when you're using the box um, no-bake cheesecake, that you make sure you have enough graham crackers for each dessert shooter. So I started off very um, conservative with the amount of graham cracker crust that I put into each. And then once I know that I had plenty left, I went back and I just kind of filled in um, on those who didn't have, you know, much graham crackers. So just, you know, act conservative first and then go ahead and fill in the gaps where you can. And then once you're done adding them, I took um, just a shot glass that would fit in and I'm gonna press down into each of the dessert shoes because I want that real cheesecake effect because you know cheesecake has like a little thick layer of crust at the bottom. So it also looked great for presentation purposes in my opinion. So you wanna go ahead and just compact that graham cracker crust down to the bottom of the dessert shooter and you want to do it to each one it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see i left some kind of running up the sides a little bit um and that's just for like you know the look of an actual cheesecake in a glass so as you can see our cheesecake got super thick y'all thicker than a snicker okay um and i told y'all once you let it sit over time it really is gonna give you what a cheesecake gives you, okay? So I went ahead and transferred that over into my handy dandy piping bag using my handy dandy um, Wilton 1M tip, 
okay? And then we're gonna pipe that cheesecake right on the inside. So I decided to swirl it. Um, I recommend at least put in your cheesecake filling in a piping bag. You don't have to use a tip if you don't want to, but you do want a very clean look when making dessert shooters. So I love the swirl effect and I think it gives it a really, really nice edge. You don't have to use the Wilton 1M tip. You can just pipe it in there, but please do not try and spoon um, your cheesecake mix in because it's not gonna be as presentable. So once I'm done with that, I have my Marziti um, strawberry glaze. I only had sugar-free on hand because that's just what I use in-house, but feel free to use the regular kind. We're gonna transfer that over into a piping bag as well. And I cut just a small little hole and I'm gonna go ahead and pipe around the edges because we're gonna lay our strawberry on top. So you only need to like pipe a square around the corners of the glass and it's just for like that drip effect um, of like a dipped glazed strawberry, if you get what I mean. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully y'all follow what I'm saying, okay? So just go around the four corners of the dessert shooters and then it'll come together on the back end. I rinsed off some strawberries and I cut them in half. When cutting them in half, you wanna start from the top because you wanna make sure your leaves are still intact um, and you don't want any of your dirt dessert shooters without leaves, okay? We don't want no bald head strawberries. So we're gonna also dip our strawberries into the same glaze that we piped onto our cheesecake. Again, you don't have to use sugar-free, um, whatever you have. I definitely don't recommend using the um, strawberry mix that came with the baked, I threw that in the garbage. It was given like grandma cheesecake and we're not doing that. So I definitely um, recommend either getting, if not this glaze, then something very similar to it because the one that came inside the pack was, it was a no, okay? So you're gonna take each strawberry and it doesn't have to be perfect and you're just gonna give it a quick dip um, and it just enhances that nice red, vibrant, you know, color of the natural strawberry. So go ahead and dip each strawberry into the glaze and then just sit it however you please inside of your dessert shooter. And this is another reason why you didn't wanna really go too um, high with the cheesecake because you had to leave room for the strawberry. Voila. Just like that, y'all, we are done. These look amazing and they taste absolutely great. I will say, I will come back with a recipe um, on how to make the cheesecake from scratch, but y'all, for this to be um, boxed, this wasn't bad. I ain't gonna lie. I won't lie to y'all. This was not bad at all. Um, you could definitely get away with doing this at any for any event, baby shower. It doesn't have to be your family. It the cheesecake was not bad. You, I give this a nine out of ten, actually. So we'll compare this to when we make this from scratch. But y'all, it gave everything that it was supposed to give. So I hope you guys enjoy this step by step. Um, I get a lot of questions on how much I would charge. So for dessert shooters, I charge fifty dollars a dozen. Um, so this set of twelve would cost you retail $50 to order from me. Um, I appreciate you guys. Oh, I am retired by the way, so you can't order from me, but you know, back in my heyday, this is you know, what I charge just to help you guys. So I appreciate you guys for tuning into another video. I will be back with more how-tos and step-by-steps, um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.